Hi BrewTube, welcome to Brew Boys. Today we're going to convert this into this coffee porter. Cheers. So today we're doing the Spellbinder coffee porter from the malt miller. Um, these are the ingredients, Simpsons Finest Pale Ale Golden Promise, uh, crushed, uh, 4,150 grams. And then in this bag, uh, we've got uh, a mix of different ones to give it this dark coffee colour and flavour. Um, and it comes with magnum pellets, uh, magnum hot pellets. This recipe also has... 100 grams of whole coffee beans that go in um, at the end of fermentation. They smell amazing, so this should be pretty good. Uh, so that's the kit there, ready to go. So we're out in the garden today. Uh, firm, firmzilla down here, all set up uh, with 20, 29 and a half litres of water. Um, slowly warming up, 67 degrees. It's a lovely day to do some brewing. So now we're just measuring out the minerals um, because we're using demineralized water. So we've got 2.59 grams of gypsum, 2.59 grams of calcium chloride, and 3.3 grams of Epsom salts. So we've got... So what we're doing here is we're warming um, the total quantity of water, which is 29 and a half litres. And um, when it gets up towards sparse temperature of 67, we'll tap off the five and a half litres we need for the sparge um, into our sparge container. This means we only need to do one set of adjustments so we can do the, the water adjustments for the total quantity rather than doing it twice. It'd be easier. So I'm just going to help with the warming the water a bit. I'm going to turn on the pump to help me circulate. So we've just got the pump going, so it's recirculating the warm water from the bottom to the top to just help warm it that little bit faster. So they say that making beer is mainly waiting for water to boil and cleaning. Mm. Yep. James is just... Just mixing mi the uh, different grains together to make sure we get a nice even mix. It's quite a lot, that's a 9 litre tub. We've only got half it in there. Sort of grain in, give it a good stir, make sure there's no dough balls, no dry bits in there. I think this is definitely about the capacity of this Bruzilla 35. And once we're happy, we'll get the recirc going. So, top screen's on, it's recirculating, um, and it is one hour at 67 degrees and oh, that's bang on 67 with just the 500 watt heater on so 40 minutes in and it's looking it's looking like the color of porter 
which is nice and it's looking fairly clear. Excellent. So while we're waiting for the mash um, to mash, we're doing a quick eye spindle calibration. So, um, an eye spindle in there. If you'd like to be interested in seeing a video on that, of how we do that, uh, please just comment in the comments below. And maybe we can do one of those. So we're back out now, we've just been um, mashing at 68, 67 degrees for an hour. Um, as you can see, that is running beautifully clear. So we'll just turn off the pump, we'll lift up the grain basket um, and we'll sparge. That sparge, we just now leave that to drain totally while the, um, while the water comes up to the ball. The water comes up to the ball. Brew dog's very chilled out. Okay, so the uh, beer's just come up to the boil, just taking the gravity reading. Um, we're supposed to hit 1049, I think we're somewhere between 1048 and 1049. So that's quite good. So it's just come to the boil. I'm just recircing through the hop spider. Um, so hopefully any bits that are in there, any bits of grain will get trapped in the hop spider. This is my theory. Let's see if that works. Need to have homebrew or drinking homebrew. So I have a glass of Munton's Belgian Ale. Cheers. So it's just coming up to the bowl now. And we'll turn off the 500 watt heater, stop it boiling over and we'll add the 60 minute hop additions. All the hops in. And we start the timer for an hour. Uh, looks like someone thinks the uh, wort's quite tasty. Tilly, they're nice. Yeah. Okay, so 15 minutes to go. Yeah, there it goes. Got a protoflux tablet. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> yeah. Should help clear it. So just taking that hot spider, as you can see in there, there's quite a lot of grain. So we've been filtering through that for the whole boil, um, which is probably obviously quite a good idea because um, there wasn't much hops, 15 grams of hops, but there's a lot of stuff in there. So boil's now finished. We've turned the heaters off, uh, put the whirlpool arm in, put the cooling coil in. Okay, so we're just going to turn on. That's the whirlpool going. Turn on the water. Turn on the water, which we've got going into the bucket here because it will catch uh, uh, hot water, which we'll then use to clean it afterwards. Uh, so we've been cooling now for about know, maybe 10 minutes, down to 35 degrees. As you can see, we've 
gathered a bucket of the runoff water, which is at 47 degrees. It's really hot, so that will come in handy. Um, that's free hot water for helping to clean the bruiser. Here's a bonus. So, the water's all cooled. Um, it says 34 degrees, which is fine for me. Um, so we're going to transfer it to the fermenter. Are you ready? Yeah. So we get a good drop here, it gets it nice and oxygenated, which we need to get that yeast going. Hopefully we'll get um, 20 litres predicted. Let me see. We'll just take a gravity room as well. And it's just draining down. Almost done. Hi BrewTube, so successful brew day again. Um, we've got our fermentation vessel full of coffee porter. Uh, we just we just added the yeast and we'll see how that goes. Please please subscribe if you want to watch more videos. Um, this is only our second one. Uh, we're gonna get better at this. Uh, but thank you for watching. Say bye Teddy. Bye.